the 43 years world's longest standing president of Equatorial Guinea. Obiang, the world longest standing president, extended his 43 years rule in the oil rich Central African nation last year after winning the presidential election. The Equatorial Guinea held election last year in which the world longest standing president, Theodora Obang Nguema, extended his 43 years authoritarian rule marked by alleged rights abuses and corruption. The Central African oil producing nation of about 1.5 million people has had only two presidents since independence from Spain in 1968, Obiang and his uncle Francisco Marcos Nguema, who he removed in a coup in 1979. The 80 years old Obiang, always elected with more than 90% of votes in pools, which international observers have questioned, is vying for a system against two other candidates, Andres Esono Ondo and Bonaventure Monse Asumu. Oil and gas production accounts for about three quarters of revenue in the OPEC member states, but output has dwindled in recent years to about 93,000 barrels per day from about 160,000 per day in 2015 due to maturing fields. Although the tiny Gulf of Guinea nation has seen major investments in infrastructure, critics said under Obiang, oil wealth has lined the pockets of the entourage, who flashes luxury lifestyle while most of the population live in poverty. Obiang is also accused of Muslim dissent and freedom of expression. The government has denied the accusation. Protests are mostly forbidden, media is heavily controlled, and it is not uncommon for political opponents to be arbitrarily arrested and tortured, rights groups say. Intimidation has increased in the run-up to the pool, activists say, with authorities targeting civil society groups and critics of the regime. In September last year, in September last year, security forces raided the headquarters of the banned opposition party, the only one with a seat in parliament, and detained at least 100 of its members. Alleged corruption has also tainted Obian's tenure despite several pledges to increase transparency. His son, Vice President Theodoro Nguama Obiang Mangu, who observers see as a potential successor, was convicted of embezzlement by French court in 2020. Assets that foreign power says he bought with ill-gotten gain include a crystal cover glove worn by Michael Jackson, an armor Rolls Royce limousine, and a yacht. Both father and son have consistently denied wrongdoing. With the current trend of the military coup in Africa, will the president of Equatorial Guinea be saved? Thank you for watching and don't forget to follow us on Casa TV on YouTube and Facebook. And remember to drop a comment. Tell us what you think about this post. Remember to share. Thank you.